Hello, this is Dread, and in today's video topic, it's going to be a very quick one. We're going to be talking about how I am rank 8 in the Merchant Guild. So if you don't know, in the Merchant Guild, when you're rank 8 and rank 7, that's when it kind of opens up. Because that's when you can buy all exalted items and all unique items. Meaning that you can take LP legendaries here and make them yourself. That's very important for the progression in endgame, especially if you're not COF and having magic bind. Because this allows you to essentially target what items you want and make items out of thin air. Which is really cool, right? So how do we get to uh, rank 8? It's very hard because you have to be gaining a lot of favor and also spending a lot of favor so the first thing is to push corruption so right now i have pushed i believe to about 450 corruption in a singular mono uh in reign of dragons here i've been farming it a bunch and selling all my twisted hearts to other people and that's a lot of echoes to be doing so we're about like at 600 echoes conquered overall and it's like 300 in reign of dragons that is a lot of echoes I'm also level 98 by the time I get to rank 8. So not only did I have to get to 400 corruption, I also had to get to like level 98 by the time we hit rank 8. Meaning that these two uh, are very, very, very end game kind of things. This is like after like a day or two of playing or maybe even three days of playing and definitely end game stuff. So how do we get more favor? Well, like I said, Corruption scales the amount of favor that you get from killing monsters. The only way of gaining favor, this number here, is by killing monsters mainly, right? So you have to kill monsters. And to kill monsters, you need to go into the model of the fate and kill monsters. And to get more favor per monster, you need to be in higher corruption. So you need to be in like 400 corruption-ish. That's where I was at. And that's when it started like going really fast for me and I got to rank 8. Now, of course... On top of this, you have to also be spending your favor. So you have to be gaining favor, which gives you reputation. And then you have to be spending favor, which also gains you reputation. So you kind of like, you have to like kind of gain benefits from both. So the biggest problem though, with gaining favor is there's two ways of doing it. There's either buying items or selling items. I can either put items on the market and sell them, or I can buy items. So you can either do that or you can sell items, just take items and put them on the market like i have as you can tell i've put a lot of items on the market right or or you could buy a lot of items like i also did like for instance i bought all these idols i bought the weapons for this like i bought everything right that means that you need to be constantly utilizing your favor and just spamming it so the easiest way to spend all your favor is to get to rank where is it rank six rank six and then buy three LP items. So the biggest expense by far in the store here, I can show you. So if we go to three legendary potential, as you can tell, it costs 19,000 favor to buy one of these, even though it's like a meh base, right? But it costs you 19,000 favor. That's very important because uh, you want to be spending your currency, like your currency very efficiently. So you want to be spending your favor, not your gold, because you want to get, you know, you want to get boosted to the higher levels without spending too much of your gold, right? Because you want to be spending your gold on items you actually want. So I have found that buying LP legendaries, like a three LP weapon of any kind, it doesn't matter what weapon it is. It could be anything, right? So if you're playing like a build in the future, you're like, hey, I want to play like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of an idea here. I want to play, let's say, I want to play an Apaches or like I want to play a build that utilizes like a 3 LP Chronostasis or something, right? So we just go here, you just go Legendary Potential 3. Let's say I want to play a build with like a, a 3 LP Aurelis, right? I want to play something like this. Well, guess what? You should buy this ahead of time so that you can spend your favor without spending too much of your gold. So if you look at, like, for instance, if you go, go to idols, right? Uh, this is the biggest problem, the doob trap here, is to buy idols early on. The biggest problem with buying idols is the favor cost is low, but generally for good items, so uh, good idols, like, for instance, if we were to look for a good idol here, right? From here. The gold cost is high, but the favor cost is low. You see that? So that's the problem. You want to be spending favor, not gold. So you want to be fine. Even if you're buying really shitty 3LP items, like for instance, if we go over to the axes here, right? 
when we go to uh more we go to three lp legendary potential uh even if it's like a cleaver like this although that's like five million this is like 200k gold but it spends 20k favor you just want to keep doing that and buy three lp items in the future until you hit rank seven and then by the time you hit rank seven then you can start using all that favor to start buying items that you actually care about like exalted items like this like this like this and like this right that's essentially the uh, main way of spending favor now the other way of spending favor is to go into your stash and start uh, putting stuff up for sale the problem with selling though is whenever i put something on sale that isn't like a 3lp legendary or something like that it does not take uh like for instance it, it's not very uh efficient so like for instance let's go to the stall here let's list an item all right i'm gonna list this item as you can tell the favor cost doesn't really go up that high so you want to be selling things that are quote unquote expensive so you want to be selling like maybe this shadow beacon right and let's, let's look at the shadow beacon let's uh post it up right that's 2000 favor so that's what you want to be selling another thing to be noting about when you're selling remember half the community is like here you i'm here half the community is like here right buy specific unique items because people can put things on the market early but they can't buy it early if that makes sense so you need to pay attention to that so when you're putting stuff up for sale don't put up stuff for sale early on like that requires rank eight or rank seven to buy put things up for sale that require rank four or rank three right so for instance unique items with no legendary potential they sell fast idols with no legendary potential they sell fast and exalted weapons sell fast but as soon as you hit rank six seven and eight that's when the reputation grind starts where it's like really hard and i wouldn't put any items like unique weapons exalted items and unique items early on because you're going to be putting it on the market you're going to be spending your favor but you're not going to have a chance of actually getting your favor back because no one's going to like buy your item until much later when they rank up. So like for instance, on day one, I spent like 20,000 favor to put a three LP, uh, uh, three LP quiet forest, like legacy of the quiet forest belt. It only sold last night, meaning that those two days where that gold was meaningless to me, meaning that it wasn't even worth putting it up for the favor cost. It was better spending that favor on other things that I could use immediately. Right. So you got to keep that in mind that the community isn't going to be like getting up to there here, but now it, slowly they're getting up to here. So it's good. Right. But still like things are finally starting to sell and all that, but keeping that in mind when you're selling things. So TLDR, how do you rank up in the merchants guild? High corruption, get a lot of favor, right? Kill monsters and high corruption. Then use that favor to either buy three LP items, like three LP weapons. After you get to uh rank six, or you use it to buy maybe like high uh, high exalted weaponry or you can use it to buy idols but remember that's very inefficient gold wise in comparison to your favor you just want to be spending your favor you don't care if you're buying items that you want so for instance one thing i did was i actually did some investments here so i bought some uh, two lp bleeding hearts for later i bought a one lp leviathan carver for later but I bought like uh, two two L I bought a two LP Mad Alchemist Ladle for later. I have been essentially buying things for the future as well. Same thing with idols. Now this one LP Leviathan Carver right is less favor to buy than this two LP Bleeding Heart. Same thing with these weapons. These weapons were more LP to buy than this Leviathan Carver, but this Leviathan Carver is way more rare and costs me more gold. Meaning that essentially. Uh, you got to be very careful to what you're buying on the market because if it's a rare item and it's a needed item, the cost of it's going to be significantly more in comparison to its favor cost. So you want to be buying very cheap, high LP legendaries so that you can spend your favor properly so that you don't spend your gold, but you spend your favor. Because like I said, you have to spend a decent amount of favor to get to rank seven and rank eight. But that's pretty much it. Uh, with all that being said, this has been Dread. If you want to ask questions, I'd heavily suggest checking out the Twitch stream because uh, I'm not going to be probably responding to comments because I'm going to be too busy by playing. With all that being said, this has been Dread. Off to go do something else. Bye.